You have come across this message today and I want you to believe that God bring you to this channel today to listen to his servant Apostle Jesus Shama. It is the desire of God that you become what he wants you to be. I want you to pay attention to every bit of word that God has for you through his through the mouth of his servant Apostle Jesus Shama. And I love him with my heart. And I continue to pray that he will grant me grace. That all these little, little increases that we're experiencing here and there, that God will grant us grace to still love him and remain and love him passionately. That the first thing that we communicate to our world is not our skill, our gift, our prowess, but our heart for God. Can you still cast your crown when you become an elder? It was not the young men that casted their crowns. The Bible says the 20 and 4 elders whatever made them an elder we know that an elder is one who has cheated time an elder is one who has put wisdom in time added experience in time added a legacy in time you i have still not found a reason to stop tithing i have examined the thoughts across boards leviticus chapter 27 and verse 30 the reason why people argue about tithe is number one because they think tithe is about money tithe is not about money and all the tithe of the land whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree is the lord's it is holy unto the lord this has nothing to do with a dispensation this is an ordinance let me submit to you there are two reasons why i think the tight issue has become a controversy in the body of christ number one and is because of the way we men of god drum it we drum it because we need the money and because there have been a, a lot of misuse and extravagance with god's money people have played all kinds of games with god's money at the expense of people's sacrifices and not everybody in church uh, people god's people are not dummies when they watch and they see that the value you are, pro you are producing does not match the kind of affluence and extravagance you are communicating someone will be sensitive enough to ask questions and because a tithe is a tenth portion there is nothing to hide about tithe tithe financially speaking is a tenth portion of what you bring and let me tell you if that is combined from faithful people it is a lot Bankers, am I right? It is a lot. What is there to hide? Tithe was supposed to be a mechanism. Listen to me. According to scripture, the tithe was supposed to be a mechanism to cater for priesthood and to cater for the building of the Lord's house. To cater for priesthood. Remember, there was a time when the children of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, are we Bible students? That while they were boiling the meat, they were given the privilege of using a fork to pick without looking. The scene there became when they now started opening the whole pot and they would look for the choice part of the meat and use it. And God said, no, this is not. I gave you the privilege to at least pick something. Now, there are all kinds of policies and principles. I'm not going into the legalities of ministries and Christian organizations and all of that. But I can tell you it is because of the annoyance of people from the carelessness, the recklessness, and the misuse of God's money. This is what has led people into this anger that has evolved into this campaign. There are a few people who have intelligently studied 
And based on their conclusion, they feel this is not needed. But I tell you, the root of most of this tight problem has come because of an, a, a level of integrity that has not been effectively communicated. Are we together? But I submit to you, and as far as it is within the jurisdiction of this spiritual family, I can tell you, be a faithful tither. Tithe is a tenth portion, according to scripture, one tenth. Now, I know that a lot of people have thought to bring 50% of your tithe, 80% of your tithe. The Bible does not say that. If God tells you personally, it is a personalized dealing. Don't create a doctrine out of it and punish people. Within the boundary of contentment and vision, 10% of what God's people bring should be sufficient to run the activities of the ministry within the boundary of contentment, vision, and integrity. Are we learning? Yes, sir. So let me encourage you, based on the truth of scripture I have learned, based on the experience of veterans who have, been, who have truly prospered by God, I can tell you, do not stop tithing. If you don't have the revelation, settle down and get the revelation. Don't do it religiously. But as far as this house is concerned, as a ministry, we are a tithing ministry. As an individual, I'm a tithing person. And I can tell you, tithe is not about money. It is called the law of open heavens. According to Malachi chapter 3, when you begin to read from verse 8, it says, will a man rob God? It says, but ye say, wherein have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. So the Bible is talking about robbery here. It says, ye are cursed with a curse. This is not the curse of the law. No. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Verse 10. It says, bring ye how many? All the tithes into my storehouse. In another series, we'll have the time to discuss what storehouse is. Because there are three platforms that qualify to be called a storehouse. In fact, I think I should just say it in one minute. Number one, a storehouse means your place of primary spiritual nourishment. It qualifies. It is the first biblical platform that is called a storehouse. Your place of primary spiritual nourishment. Number two, a storehouse also refers to any ministry that is committed to the salvation of souls and the transformation of lives. These two things must be there. If it is not actively committed to the salvation of souls and the equipping of the saints, it does not qualify to be called a storehouse. It's an uncomfortable truth, but this is the truth. And then number three, the storehouse can also by extension refer to an individual, a minister who is committed to the salvation of souls and the equipping of the saints. There are conditions. I want to say thanks for watching. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel.